Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, well, if you follow Gilbert Burns' career, you know this man actually prefers to strike over grappling at this point of his career. He has gone to great lengths to round out that side of his game under the guidance of Henry Hooft. Every round begins on the feet. Gilbert Burns wants to throw hands tonight. We'll see how it goes early in this round. Oh, no feeling out process tonight. These fighters are crawling early. Those guys came to fight from the moment the referee said go. Strong outside leg kick. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kate Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that over hand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has the corner hurt very badly. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Good kicks there by Condit. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, and he caught the kick. Leg attempt here. Nice job to catch the leg and work it into a takedown. Condit gets back up here. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Condit's head kick looked like that one was blocked. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Push kick there to the body. Landed the overhand. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Beautiful thing down there. there. Burns got his head looking for a guillotine. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, he is out. How He's good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he looked. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, up on the elbow, you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Oh, he didn't like that one. 15 seconds remain in the round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was two good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, it, in the night, that one landed right on the spot. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, there we go. Oh, looking for the gilly lock now. Might have the guillotine. Oh, it's getting deep now, DC. Dude's got a fight on his hands now. Great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. 
Nice combination of kicks there by Condit. Three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting. Oh, that's the turn of the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Big elbow there, Lance. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Oh, huge shots being landed on both sides. to his feet. Right hand over the top. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Come on, bud. You Under a minute to go round two. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Oh, oh well-disguised hip toss there to get his opponent down. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when we're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Ten minutes in the books. There's the horn, what a round it was, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush, go right. back out to the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get... Ready to fight? Ready. Third round on the way. Starting to do some really significant damage. I love that one. I love when the guy throws the kick that was hard. Well, we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage, and he really is using a nice punch there. Oh, man! This is big. That's big. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this. into that kick. All right, opens the guard, now stack guard. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Condit gets back up again. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Burns in half guard. Now he's on top, exactly where he wanted to go. All right, feet on the hips here. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. All right, well, I don't have to be a judge to tell you he is losing this fight late in the game now. Time to start throwing up those submission attempts, I would think. you got to keep going. you got to start throwing up submission attempt after submission attempt and hope that something's free for you to latch on to. Burns is swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Hook lands. Held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end 
a dope type of fight. Oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. looking for the finish here. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's well, file this under a matchup you thought you would never see. Your former AKA teammates, Islam Akashev and Khabib Nurmagomedov. It's a fascinating matchup, and tonight we will finally find out which of these two men is really better in mixed martial arts. You know, the fact that people talk about it so much tells you how good and interesting a matchup is. You have Islam Akashev, who is a better striker than Abib Nurmagomedov, but then you have Khabib, who is just an absolute dog. He's gonna press forward. You may hit him. He will not take a step back. This matchup is so fun to watch. I've experienced it before. Luckily, you guys get to do that tonight. Hey man. Everybody stand up if you ever had your back against the wall and had to fight back. It's your one. My view from the top of the moon. I can see the whole world sitting in my hand, a maze of it. We finna break the rules, and we gon' make them too. I can't fall asleep, I gotta stand tall, that's what a leader do. Follow me, I'm leading you. Hey, we finna turn up, break up the heat in here, they finna burn up. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action here featuring the perennial welterweight contender Leon Rocky Edwards figures to have a decided striking advantage in this matchup. He believes his jab is going to be a key to setting up his power shots here tonight in every MMA. Oh, that's the biggest shot to fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Standing, brutal knee to the body. So a nice reactive takedown there. He did a beautiful job to catch the leg and then work his opponent to the ground. Now let's see what type of damage he can inflict. Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like he's gonna fight. He's gonna take hard now. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Edwards is able to flatten him out, really pressing on him now. Opponent's belly flat on the mat. Ground and pound strike there now. Now trying to trap an arm. What tight bar bar. Oh, that's got to be it. Come on. That is so deep. Man, I always think they're done. Surprise me. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Ooh, this could be it. That's a, oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Now lands a kick to the body. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't... Oh, shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Oh, no. 
nice body shot. to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. This is such a crazy fight. Oh, he cut a nasty cut on his lip. That one bears watching. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here we go. Round one. Umar Nurmagomedov is a man many fancy a future UFC Bantamweight champion, but how will he fare as the tests get stiffer? Tonight, you can argue, is the most elite fighter he will have ever faced. He wasn't leaning too much into that narrative in our fighter meeting. He believes the takedowns are going to be there at will, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him take a really good concerted shot here. Nice transition. Scramble and go! All right, side control now. Nurmagomedov's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Nurmagomedov. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Ooh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. Oh, belly down on ball. And now he turns and puts his weight over the top of the arm. Oh, he got out. And notice how he got his body all the way across to the opposite side. Now. Ready. Ready. All right, so Kazakhstan shop Rachmanov has arrived at his career-changing moment. He's beaten everybody in front of him. He's finished everybody in front of him. Now we'll see if he can hand that same fate to the decorated champion Leon Edwards. Leon Edwards is a beast. He's so talented and he's so committed to what he's doing, from his takedown defense to his striking to his approach. He's in phenomenal shape and he now carries that championship mentality. But this challenge in front of him tonight in Shavka is a big challenge because this kid continues to get
get better and shows time and time again that there's a new sheriff in town. There's a new guy that wants to hold that UFC championship, and he's willing to go through the fire in order to get it. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the aisle. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Nice job on the counter there, and this is really a tried and true counter striker who will... Oh! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. In the engagement there. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. So Rachmanov's in half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Rachmanov. Oh, big shots raining down. He's isolating an arm. Arms are very tight. Ready. Do it. Leon Rocky Edwards, the perennial welterweight contender, still criminally underappreciated for my money. I just feel like people don't give him the credit he deserves for just the overall mixed martial arts game and acumen. And when we talked to him about his striking this week, he said, hey, come on, man, I can grapple too. We'll see how he chooses to proceed tonight. Oh, beautiful strike in there by Leon Edwards. He has really become a well-rounded welterweight. We saw in the Gunnar Nelson fight how good his wrestling defense was. Leon Edwards is a real problem, DC. And there, exchanging leather early. Oh! Oh, big left! Oh! Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking a Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Edwards gets caught by that straight punch there. I don't know how many times you hit the head and stay in this fight. Edwards gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. 
Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Well, he might be working towards an attritic knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hurting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix. All that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. Top guy has... Ready, fight? Ready. Let's go. As dominant a heavyweight champion as the UFC has ever seen, here is Cain Velasquez. Jiu-Jitsu black belt, so submission skills are there. You know about the wrestling, and the power at times has been more attritive than it has been one-punch knockouts. But Cain Velasquez still one of the best heavyweights on the planet. Three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout. Ready, fight. Ready. 
All right, here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, Ilya Topuria, ready to go for round one. He has been a methodical fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, the opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's gonna have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division. So it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing a finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. Topuria's shot is blocked. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Front kick to the body, and he gets the finish. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Under three minutes now to go on the round. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the last finish at that time. There it is again. Look at that. Oh, huge right hand. Big knee to the body. Beautiful knee. Topuria's elbow is blocked. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle. So that he doesn't get finished. The combination's here. Gregor's head kick attack that one is blocked. Oh, now we're going to get a shot to the leg. Look at that. He's taking the stairs. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, big hook. That was oh, he's hurt bad. Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. All right, so there's the end of the round, and thankfully it came right then and there for him. He was knocked down pretty significantly near the end of the round. That will keep him in the fight. He goes back to the... All right, so there's the horn. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, on. round two. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on, and a appreciate... He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the...